the first time I heard it was because I bought the first album of Elvis, which was just that, but the 12 inch albums. So those of you who are under the age of about 40 probably don't remember that we used to have an album that big, which means that on the f- sleeves you could see more than just the face of the artist. The album was just called Elvis. Presley in pink and green and in fact on many of my albums early on in my career I used to use the same font and color as a tribute to Elvis but the album I think it started with blue suede shoes and I, I thought what a great song I thought okay this is an Elvis song it was not long after that that I read that Carl Perkins had had the first hit with it he didn't make number one Elvis did but he I think he got to number two and and Carl Perkins I'd never heard of him, but when I thought of that, then I did see him at one point. I don't, not live, but I saw pictures of him, and he was a he was very a uh, humble man. He said the only reason why he couldn't be as big as Elvis is big. He said because I'm married, got children, and I look like a horse. I think he was overdoing it, but he but he didn't get make it as big as Elvis. He did go back and continue to sing though. But Blue Suede Shoes, for me, is an Elvis song. But now I can honestly say that I'm happy that I learned that Elvis was singing other people's songs. But Carl Perkins has to be credited. That song has now become the classic, along with a lot of Elvis stuff, it's as classic as All Shook Up, as Jailhouse Rock. Fantastic. Carl Perkins must go down in history in that era of wonderful rock and roll singers and writers. <laughs> 